three, two, one, let's go! Hello family! Today is March 23rd and this is your brother Adam with the Watchman Adam YouTube channel back with a video. Okay family, the verse of the day is Isaiah 60, 12. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yeah, those nations shall be utterly wasted. Okay, if it's your first time to our channel, let me welcome you. This channel is dedicated to spreading the gospel and sounding the alarm of the Lord's soon return. Because we know that trumpet is about to blow. And when it does, we're going to be ready to go on this channel. Yeshua is coming soon. This I know. For my Bible tells me so. Family, that trumpet is about to blow. And when it does, you already know. Let's go. All right, guys, check this out. I have some very interesting news coming from the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. Now, the Temple Mount is ground zero for the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. And it is the most contested piece of real estate in the entire world. Jews, Muslims, and Christians all make the claim that the Temple Mount is sacred to their faith. And in Islam, it is considered the third holiest site. And in Judaism, it is considered the most important site to their faith. And it is the spot where the Jewish temple once stood. And that site is very deep in controversy. So on March 22nd, the Jerusalem Post published an article. And check out this end times headline. Activists offer to pay Arabs to store pastoral lambs near Temple Mount. Okay, family, this is insane. So two activists from the Returning to the Mount movement were detained for putting up flyers written in Arabic, offering $10,000 to anyone willing to store lambs for the Passover sacrifice. Hey, family, if that happened in my hometown, if they were offering $10,000 to store a lamb, man, there would be lambs everywhere in people's homes, backyards, and tree houses, and cars. Anywhere you could put a lamb, I guarantee you, someone would put a lamb there for $10,000. I think it's absolutely insane. They are offering $10,000 to store a lamb. Wow. Now, that's the flyer you see on your screen. It says, do you have a yard or extra room? Want to earn easy income on the side? A place is needed to store lambs in the old city near the holy shrine al Oscar Mosque. And family, if you look at the bottom, you can see the flyer has a number at the bottom of it to call for more details. And the two people who hung these flyers, they are in big trouble in Israel. They're actually being charged. Now, the group that hung these flyers announced this week that it would be organizing a visit to the Temple Mount on Rosh Kadash, Nisan, on Thursday today, which instantly enough marks the first day of Ramadan. Now, this group is picking an interesting time to do this. If they attempt this, it will be seen as a violation of the Baha'i status quo at the Temple Mount. Now, family, check this out. The same group announced this week that it would be organizing a visit to the Temple Mount on Rosh Kadash, Nisan, this coming Thursday or today. Interestingly enough, this also marks the first day of Ramadan. The group is picking an interesting time to do this. If they attempt this, it will be seen as a violation of the status quo at the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. And the Israeli government this week promised to keep the status quo during the sensitive time of Ramadan and during Passover. Because they realized that violating the status quo during Ramadan could lead to the third intifada in Israel. Family, there is a prophetic event forming at the Temple Mount. I can feel it. Family, mark my words on this. If this group goes to the Temple Mount during Passover, which will also be Ramadan, and they attempt this Passover sacrifice, it is going to cause a conflict in Israel like the world has never seen before. Family, I've been telling y'all for weeks, I feel like something huge is coming to the Temple Mount. I don't know what it is or when it will happen, but I can absolutely sense it. Family, when you see stuff like this, look up. Our redemption draweth nigh. I mean, family, just look around this world we live in. It is declaring the soon return of Jesus. Everything in family, I mean everything that Jesus said would be going down prior to his return. We're seeing it all go down in our generation. It's all converging in our generation. The fig tree generation. 
the generation that shall not pass away. And that's why the message of the gospel is so very important in these end times. And as always, let's close this video out by me giving you the gospel of our salvation. Now, if you want to pause this video real quick and go grab your Bibles, we're going to be in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. In 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, the word of the Most High God says this. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. And then, in Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, the Word of God says this, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And I think we all know what the Bible says in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So you see, family, it's really simple. Salvation is the free gift that the Most High God has given us via the blood of Jesus. We don't deserve it and we can't earn it. What you do, you believe the gospel of Jesus. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that whoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. God is real. Jesus is real. And Jesus is coming back soon. You're not promised tomorrow. If you haven't placed your faith in Jesus, today can be your day of salvation. Believe the gospel and God is just and he will forgive you your sins. And family, that's facts. Well, my beautiful channel family, as always, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget, give this video a thumbs up and feel free to share it. Family, it helps us out so much and I do appreciate it. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button to join our channel family. Because on this channel, you guys are more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated. And I pray for you guys on a daily basis. And speaking of prayer, if you have any prayer requests whatsoever, drop them in the comment section below. And myself and someone from our prayer team, we would be honored to pray over your prayer request. And also, family, if you don't have a Bible and you need a free King James Version Bible, please email us at emailwatchmanadam at gmail.com. And as soon as we can, we'll get a free Bible out to you. I believe everybody that wants a free copy of God's Word should be able to get a free copy of God's Word. Please include the shipping address and give us some time to get back to you. We only check the emails twice a month. And if you feel led to contribute to our Bible ministry or our homeless outreach program, check the description box below. There's ways you could do so. 100% of all contributions either go to the Bible ministry or to our homeless outreach program. Family, as always, I'm going to ask that you please pray about it first. And family, we'll be in Asheville, North Carolina, Saturday and Sunday, passing out hope bags to the homeless. So if you could keep us in your prayers, I'd greatly appreciate it. Well, my beautiful channel family, the next time, Brother Watchman Adam signing out in three, two, one. That trumpet is about to blow. And when it does, family, let's go. <laughs>